Alright guys, how are you doing? This time I decided to make a vlog for you. So this is a KTM Super Duke 2016 Super Duke. So 180 horsepower, 144 newton meters of torque, 211 kilograms the carb weight of the bike. Again, 320 millimeter dual disc from the front for piston Brembo caliper and two piston 240 millimeter single disc from behind yeah what else can I say <laughs> this is the crazy machine actually electronics is out of whack nothing works properly but yeah actually the dash is pretty nice I really like the way it looks probably on the video it doesn't feel as fast and uh, I did not open the throttle, of course. Of course I didn't. I'm scared of the throttle. This is no bike for schmucks for sure. Let's do it one more time. Let's get into other mode. How good are these brakes, guys? How good are these brakes? No f joke. All right, one more time. Holy moly moly. And uh, I cannot open the throttle completely because I'm just afraid, guys. I am just afraid. Let's do it. Okay, let's check braking and we'll go home. Thanks God. Okay. Yeah guys, this bike is so much fun to ride. <laughs> All those wheelies, they're so fun. They're so fun pure power did you feel the wheelie yeah. okay all right guys so this bike doesn't have all the necessary technologies in order to keep you safe it has this basic minimum in order to keep you safe it has this traction control which works pretty well but actually still allows you to do wheelies and other things so um, again taking the power of this bike if it would not have traction control this would be a suicide machine but um, this <laughs> Minimum technology is still all right actually. It still keeps you relatively safe. I'll tell you that I think that KTM uh, Super Duke from 2016 is not the most reliable machine. Actually, it does feel pretty old to me. Uh, it's rattling as crazy. It is full of vibrations. Again, me personally, I love those vibrations. It makes me feel as if I'm riding something really cool and legit. I feel as if I have to conquer that beast, you know? And you sure do have to conquer that beast. If you're a schmuck and if you're not ready to ride something like that, if you're scared, trust me, you don't want to ride this machine. It's a very powerful thing. If you twist the throttle completely open, that thing is going to be a unicycle. It's going to be on the rear wheel all day long. And uh, this is pretty scary if you're a beginner, you know? And I am a beginner, I'll just tell you right away. <laughs> and um, I feel great. Ergonomics is just perfect for me, taking that I'm 1 meter 85 centimeters. Guys, I'll tell you one thing about the throttle. So 
it's not a jerky throttle by far it feels very long so if you want to access the whole power you have to twist your wrist really hard so the further you go the faster it goes of course but what i'm trying to say is that it doesn't have a super jerky uh, throttle which is really good and uh, the bottom and the bottom end torque is not as crazy as on some other bikes such as mt09 uh, ktm 890 uh, duke r or even 790 those bikes they pick up speed straight from the bottom so ktm uh, super duke from 2016 at least this bike picks up speed after 4000 rpm i would say if you keep it low like i do right now you will find out that the bike is rattling as crazy it's clattering as crazy so if you keep it low like that this bike ain't gonna feel fast and uh, it will feel very manageable which i like a lot so um this bike if you don't want to ride really fast ain't gonna scare you off like you could think but guys if you want to go crazy you just completely twist the throttle open and then you're going to see what this bike is capable of and this will be very scary this will be a very scary experience you don't want to mess with this bike if you're a beginner for sure again the way the bike pulls is just insane um 144 newton meters of torque what do you want <laughs> and again i keep on smiling all the way because this is the craziest bike that i have ever ridden in my life again um unfortunately i'm not as skillful as some other riders so i would not be able to accelerate as fast as possible on this machine but guys if you're really skillful riders um i don't know this bike goes from zero to 200 kilometers per hour in something like eight seconds which is just crazy again uh, i was trying to measure acceleration from zero to 60 uh, from zero to 100 kilometers per hour and I managed to accelerate in something like four seconds because I was just afraid, you know. I was afraid of a backflip. I like backflips, but not on motorcycles. And um, the amount of power that this bike brings into my life is just overwhelming. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I wouldn't be able to launch this bike as well as I did, for example, the last SRK 800 or even Z900 because those bikes they feel way more approachable in terms of power delivery it's easier to ride those bikes fast and if you want to go fast on this bike legitimately fast performance wise if you want to accelerate from 0 to 60 in like 3.2 seconds so to speak you have to really know what you're doing because if you're a beginner guys it'll be really hard to cope with that amount of power this bike is going to wheelie all the way which is really fun, which is super fun, but not very optimal for a track or for a competition. But again, who's buying those bikes for competition, guys? I feel like if you're buying this bike, you're going to be a street killer or something. You're going to ride this bike on a street like I do. And uh, this is the most fun bike that you can buy for a street, for sure. No doubt in my head. What else can you buy? Uh, probably one of those bikes which might be a rival of this one is uh, H2, right? Or ZH2, that naked, that crazy naked from Kawasaki. Uh, I haven't ridden that bike yet, but I hope that one day I will. But to be honest, guys, that bike uh, is crazy for sure. I saw some videos, but this bike is no slouch. This bike is going to be a decent nemesis of that one. And I'm telling you guys, you better be prepared for that one if you're going to ride this machine this bike is so much fun again you have to conquer the bike the vibrations the heat which is coming out of the engine everything is so so nice i love it it feels as if you're riding something really special something really legit and again this bike doesn't feel new uh the dash looks pretty old i don't really know when i have to get up and so on but listen other than that this is just a perfect bike and I feel like most people would be really satisfied with that thing. The only complaint I have about it is that electronics, but I feel like if you're buying Super Duke, you don't care about electronics. Who, who needs that electronics? It doesn't work anyway, right? <laughs> and brakes, check these brakes, guys. They're just enormous. They're so good. They give me that necessary confidence. 
You don't want to ride something like that if you have no brakes or if your brakes are not good enough. And this bike has top-notch brakes. Again, it does wheelies all the time. Uh, it's super fast, incredible torque. One of the craziest bikes that I've ever ridden in my life. Um, if you rode KTM Super Duke, please tell me what you think about it. Tell me if you want to have one of those. Uh, tell me how much it costs in your country because this is a not this is not a new bike. It's like seven years old. So yeah Guys, it was a really cool ride It was a cool day for me. I rode it for two days actually and it's time for me to say goodbye to the bike And I'll say goodbye to you and yeah guys, please hit the like button Subscribe to my channel and if you like those vlogs, let me know new videos are coming soon. See ya guys. Bye